Hey guys, it's uh, Rich here at RC Informer. Uh, today I've got the uh, version 3 FMS 1400 millimeter uh, Piper Cub. Uh, we put it on floats. We're going to give you another demo out here. We had it in all in the fall. Uh, a few things I want to talk about with this thing, guys. This is the newest version. Uh, Steve, if you want to zoom right here on the front, they uh, they changed the spinner nut, which is nice. The the original one or the stock one for for spinners with a screw through it was square. They put this nice kind of rounded elliptical one on, so it's a little bit more scale. Uh, putting the floats on this deal is uh, pretty easy. Steve, if you can zoom here on this underside here. Um, really all you have to do is just unscrew your regular landing gear. Your struts actually go on with two screws right here with a lock nut and then you literally just take your landing gear you you put it on with these four straps I actually leave my four straps and eight screws I leave it on the airplane uh, even when I'm flying it on the land so I know where those screws are you do have to keep two extra screws handy but that's it guys it goes in you go ahead and you plug in your uh, your your link there for your floats and then a couple mistakes I made uh, Steve if you want to show these two compartments here uh, when I did the uh, when I did the unboxing video guys uh, I was saying this is the battery compartment that's the receiver I had them kind of backwards so as you pull this open here you can see that's the receiver compartment. I got my six channel there. I got one antenna there, one antenna there, because you really need the nose weight up front. Uh, and then, of course, this is the battery compartment, which I'm going to pop open. It's a pretty, pretty stout battery compartment. It pops off pretty, pretty firmly. Um, but uh, you can see your three cell just goes right in there. I Velcroed it in place, but I tell you, the compartment is hard, uh, is tough enough to hold it in place. There's a couple other things here, too. I keep my antenna right back here, guys. There's a little antenna here, just a scale detail. I keep that just for shows and stuff, because sometimes I have to transport the airplane upside down. So, Steve, if you can kind of point right there. That's the antenna that comes with the airplane, but I'm always tearing air antennas off when I'm transporting my planes, guys. So I keep mine stored often in the airplane. I'll just, like I said, I'll stick it in some foam here. I'll let Steve zoom in. I don't know if you can see that, Steve, but I'll stick my antennas within the airplane so I don't lose them. You got that okay? So everybody can kind of see that. But anyway, real nice hatch system, guys, overall. You can see how nice all this stuff goes in. It tongue and grooves right in. Well, I'm dropping it now. Goes right in there magnets in place and uh, while I'm here guys I'm just gonna go ahead and fire this whole thing up I got the radio going I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do an initialization here of my uh, speed controller here because it's been a little while since I've flown we'll boot that up I'll bring my throttle back and now it should be calibrated And there we go, guys. Overall, real nice model, guys. It does build, like I talked about before, with four wing screws here, two on each side. These struts, guys, just pop into place. They snap in and out. They're semi-structural, non-structural, but they pop into place real easy. Uh, there's no flaps on the model. Uh, and then the tail goes on real easy. There's actually, this actually goes on, I think there were maybe one or two screws, and then the rudder just kind of slides on um, with a screw in there. And uh, what we have here, guys, is um, is this entire tail section right here. Um, it has these really nice right here um, struts that you just pop in place, and uh, and uh, it's very very rigid overall. So. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, let's get this thing up and going here. Uh, I do have my water rudder set up. It's a four-channel airplane, but I have it set up. And Steve, I'll put this right back here if you want to focus on that water rudder there. You can see that's combined with the rudder, but I also have steering through this separate knob, okay, set up so I can steer my water rudder um, without affecting the flight rudder on the airplane. So um, anyway, that really helps with water taxing. So anyway, I've talked enough. You ready, Steve? We're going to drop this thing in the water here, get it right down there. I'm going to do a quick thrust check right here. And we are good to go. All right, I'll get my neck strap on here. All right, you ready, Steve? Set. All right, we'll see which way the wind is going here. Taxi it out a bit. See, I'm using my water rudder now on the steering knob just to get it trimmed to go straight. And, uh, I'll drive it on out there. I'll drive it past. This thing taxis really nice overall. I'll see if I can bring it around. A little windy out today, but uh, but nice water taxing. Nice handling of the airplane. And there we go. Quick flight control check. I got mid rates on for now. Let me drive it off. I'll take off into the wind. Let me uh, back taxi here a little steep. I'm churning up the water actually a bit here. 
because the ripples kind of help you break the water tension here a little bit. All right, here we go. You ready, Steve? Yep. All right, into the wind here. All right, take it off. There we go, up there nicely. I did that with about two-thirds throttle. Now, it is real windy today, guys, so... There's definitely rotors and things off the trees. But a nice flying airplane overall. Real smooth. Yeah, lots of rotors from the trees and stuff. Flying on this lake that we actually hadn't flown on before, so... Ooh, yeah, there, the wind's getting to me there a little bit. Yeah, that wind is really beating it up. All right, let's go uh, high rate on the aileron. There we go. Not a, not an aerobatic plane, really. Cubs are just meant for gentle flying around. And it seems to be handling this wind okay, but it is getting beat up a bit, as you can see. Here, let's see. Loop it. There we go. All right, I'm going to bring it right by the camera, Steve. Here we go. As smooth as I can with all this wind. Get it below the wind here. Yeah, it is windy. Yeah. Definitely windy day today. Here, let me head straight out here, Steve, and I'll come at us from this direction. Use the trees for that background. There we go. My power is off. I'm just sort of going into the wind here. Anytime you're in a valley like this, you got all these trees and things, the, the wind just hits those trees, and I'm going to peel to your right, Steve. I'll do some turns out front here. Yeah, the wind hits those trees and just makes all kinds of turbulence over them. No stabilization in this thing at all, guys. None whatsoever. Just flying with the wind and the turbulence. All right, you can even feel that. Hey, film to your right, Steve, and take a look at those uh, weeds to your right. Yeah, that's that's the stuff where all the turbulence is coming off. It's kind of coming from our right, so that's kind of what's beating us up here. But it'll handle the wind. We're just definitely not fair weather flyers here. So all right, let me see if I can get a landing out of this. It is bumpy. Let's see if I can get this down on the ground nicely. There you go, on the water. There we go. Yeah, beauty. I'll taxi it around a little bit more. Oh, the ant wants to fly again. Yeah, the wind's a little at our backs, I think, here. Get it on out there again. All right, here we go, taking off again. Take it off! Yeah, that, that plane's nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely not the best wind day here to fly it, but it's just a nice flying model overall. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's not an inverted plane. It'll do it on a calmer day. You can do it nicely with the wind. It's not so much. It's a nice model, nice model. All right, Steve, I'm going to come from, uh, I'm going to go make a right turn here and come back. Okay. Kind of come from the other side here. Yeah, that wind's really getting me off of those uh, reeds there. I'm using a roaring top, guys, 2200. 3S pack. I think that's about it, Steve. I'm going to bring it in here. Here we go. Ease it on down, ease it on down. There we go. I will take that. All right, I'll drive it on back here and pick it up out of the water. Very windy day, guys, but it will handle the wind. Drive it over here and get it out of the water. Real nice model, guys. You can get this thing at uh, Horizon Hobby, fmsmodel.com. Really nice airplane overall. This is the first time, guys, we're at this field, at this uh, facility here. It's really nice, but uh, what do you think, Steve? You want one? All right. Well, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I tell you what, it is a little windy out, but it does handle the wind okay. Another thing I like is they put these uh, skids on the side, underside here.
these uh, plastic part pieces here. It's like Lexan, so you can actually put it down without destroying your uh, your V notch, your uh, V hole in the uh, in the keel. So anyway, guys. Uh, check it out thanks for watching rc informer uh be check be sure you check out the unboxing video guys where i really show all the parts and details you can get a good idea of what actually comes in the model uh steve thanks for filming thanks for watching rc informer guys and as always we'll see you next time